हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सेकंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी माइवर थियोरम दैट इज टू एक्सपांड फंक्शंस ऑफ द टाइप कॉस रेस टू एन एक्स एंड साइन रेस टू एन एक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉस एन एक्स एंड साइन एन एक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ऑल्सो सी एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड प्री रिक्विसाइड्स over here we will see formulas that are helpful to expand functions of the type cos raised to nx and sin raised to nx so let us first consider complex number z whose polar form is cos x plus i sin x then 1 by z is cos x minus i sin x to understand why 1 by z is cos x minus i sin x note that 1 by z is nothing but z inverse so z inverse is cos x plus i sin x raised to minus 1 then by de moivre's theorem cos x plus i sin x raised to minus 1 is cos x minus i sin x similarly z raised to n can be given by cos x plus i sin x raised to n and by de moivre's theorem it is given by cos n x plus i sin n x on the other hand 1 by z raised to n can be given as cos x minus i sin x raised to n and once again by de moivre's theorem it is given by cos n x minus i sin n x now we add z and 1 by z so after adding z and 1 by z i sin x and minus i sin x will get cancel we will left with 2 cos x so z plus 1 by z is 2 cos x similarly z minus 1 by z will be 2i sin x now let's add z raised to n and 1 by z raised to n so z raised to n plus 1 by z raised to n is 2 times cos nx and z raised to n minus 1 by z raised to n is equal to 2i sin nx we consider these four equations as formulas for z plus 1 by z z minus 1 by z z raised to n plus 1 by z raised to n and z raised to n minus 1 by z raised to n now let us proceed with method of expansion of cos raised to nx and sin raised to nx types of function this method involves three steps in step 1 to expand cos x raised to n we will begin with 2 cos x raised to n and we just saw in prerequisite that 2 cos x is z plus 1 by z so 2 cos x whole raised to n is z plus 1 by z raised to n similarly to expand sin x raised to n we will consider 2i sin x whole raised to n and according to prerequisite 2i sin x is z minus 1 by z now in step 2 we will use binomial expansion to expand these rhs functions z plus 1 by z raised to n and z minus 1 by z raised to n we will expand them using binomial expansion then we will combine the terms having same degree and in step 3 we will use the relation z raised to n plus 1 by z raised to n is equal to 2 cos nx and z raised to n minus 1 by z raised to n is equal to 2i sin nx to convert terms in z to cos nx or sin nx let me remind you we saw these equations in prerequisites now let us proceed with some real examples in example number 1 we are asked to expand cos raised to 4x using de moivre's theorem let us see its solution according to prerequisite we will take z is equal to cos x plus i sin x therefore 1 by z is equal to cos x minus i sin x then z plus 1 by z will be 2 cos x according to step 1 explained in the method we have to begin with 2 cos x whole raised to 4 because we want expansion of cos raised to 4x so when we begin with 2 cos x whole raised to 4 this 2 cos x now can be replaced by z plus 1 by z so this will be z plus 1 by z whole raised to 4 now comes step 2 in step 2 we have to expand this rhs using binomial expansion so after expansion we will get this expression now let us see if there are any cancellations yes there are some cancellations 
z cube upon z will become z square. This z square upon z square will get cancelled. z upon z cube will be 1 by z square. So, after cancellations, we will have this expression on the RHS. Now, let us combine terms with similar degree. So, here I see this first term and last term have same degree. So, I will put them in one bracket. Similarly, this second term and fourth term have same degree. We will put them in one bracket like this. Now, remember the formulas we obtained in prerequisite. I remember we found that z raised to n plus 1 by z raised to n is 2 cos nx. So, this z raised to 4 plus 1 by z raised to 4 can be replaced by 2 cos 4x. Similarly, z square plus 1 by z square can be replaced by 2 cos 2x. So, we see that 2 cos x whole raised to 4 is now 2 cos 4x plus 4 into 2 cos 2x plus 6. But we want expansion of cos raised to 4x. So, what we will do? So, we will take this 2 raised to 4 from left to right side. So, we get cos raised to 4x is equal to 1 by 2 raised to 4 into 2 cos 4x plus 8 cos 2x plus 6. This is expansion of cos raised to 4x. I hope guys you understood how to expand cos raised to nx types of function. Now, let us proceed for next example. Here, we are asked to expand sin raised to 4x using de Moivre's theorem. So, let us begin with the solution. Here, we begin by considering z is equal to cos x plus i sin x. Therefore, 1 by z is cos x minus i sin x. Then, z minus 1 by z will be 2i sin x. I hope you remember this theory we learnt in prerequisite. Now, since we want to expand sin raised to nx type of function, according to the method that I explained, in step 1, we have to begin with 2i sin x whole raised to n. Here, n is 4. So, we begin with 2i sin x raised to 4. But 2i sin x is z minus 1 by z. So, we replace it with z minus 1 by z. Now, in step 2, we will expand this RHS part using binomial expansion. The expansion of z minus 1 by z whole raised to 4 is this. Meantime, this LHS can be written as 2 raised to 4 into i raised to 4 into sin raised to 4x. Now, let us see if there are any cancellations on RHS. This z cube upon z can be written as z square. This z square, z square will get cancelled. z upon 1 by z cube is 1 by z square. Now, after cancellation, we got this new expression. Now, let us combine terms with same degree. So, I see this first and the last term have same degree. Similarly, this second and the fourth term have same degree. So, we put them in proper brackets. Now, we use the knowledge we acquired in prerequisite. Over there, we saw z raised to n plus 1 by z raised to n is 2 cos nx. So, this z raised to 4 plus 1 by z raised to 4 can be replaced by 2 cos 4x. Similarly, z square plus 1 by z square can be replaced by 2 cos 2x. This constant will remain as it is. Finally, to see the expansion of sin raised to 4x, we have to take this 2 raised to 4 and i raised to 4 on the other side. So, we get sin raised to 4x as 1 upon 2 raised to 4 into i raised to 4 into 2 cos 4x minus 8 cos 2x plus 6. Later on, you can replace this i raised to 4 with its value that is 1. I hope guys you understood how we expand function of the type sin raised to nx. Now, let us proceed with next example. Here, we are asked to expand cos raised to 4x into sin cube x using de Moivre's theorem. Let us see its solution. Here, first we consider z is equal to cos x plus i sin x. Therefore, 1 by z is cos x minus i sin x. Later things you know, z plus 1 by z is 2 cos x and z minus 1 by z is 2i sin x. From example 1, we have seen that 
2 cos x whole raised to 4 is this. This is expansion of 2 cos x whole raised to 4 in terms of z. Similar type of expansion we obtain for 2i sin x whole raised to 3. So let us consider 2i sin x whole raised to 3. But we know that 2i sin x is z minus 1 by z. So we have to find expansion of z minus 1 by z whole cube. So by expansion, we get this series. Now let us see if there are any cancellations. Yes, there are. Z square upon z can be written as z. Similarly, z upon z square can be written as 1 by z. So after cancellation, we get this new expression. Now we will multiply this 2 cos x whole raised to 4 and 2i sin x whole cube together. So 2 cos x whole raised to 4 into 2i sin x whole cube will be this terms into these terms like this. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms in the first bracket and 4 term in the second bracket. So 5 fours are 20 terms will be there in the product of RHS. So these are those 20 terms. You can pause the video and check the calculation. Let's go ahead. After cancellations, you will see that RHS becomes this. Here, I have combined the terms having same degree. Now, using the prerequisite knowledge, you can replace this z raised to 7 minus 1 by z raised to 7 by 2i sin 7x. z raised to 5 minus 1 by z raised to 5 can be replaced by 2i sin 5x. Similarly, z cube minus 1 by z cube can be replaced by 2i sin 3x and z minus 1 by z can be replaced by 2i sin x. This is expansion of 2 cos x whole raised to 4 into 2i sin x whole raised to 3. But we want expansion of cos raised to 4x into sin cube x. So we will take the remaining terms on the other side. Here remaining terms are 2 raised to 4 into 2 cube into i cube. So after taking those terms on the other side, we get cos raised to 4x into sin cube x is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to 7 into i cube into this RHS as it is. I hope guys you understood how to expand functions of the type cos raised to nx and sin raised to nx in terms of cos nx and sin nx. In my next video, we will see third application of de Moivre's theorem that is to find nth roots of complex number. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.